hey y'all and welcome to my channel welcome back if you're a returning viewer so as y'all see we got this color going on it's 30 inches we got these soft baby hairs this bust down middle part okay and this is very 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 beginner friendly so if you're new to this stay true to this and stay tuned because yeah let's get straight into it because this is another long tutorial because i really want to explain to y'all what i'm doing and really really see what's going down and what you need to do to achieve the perfect install the flatness the baby hairs the skin the scalp all of that okay so we're stretching out this cap i just stretched out my cap and it's on my head now and i'm taking my small scissors here and i'm cutting right in the middle of my ear and that's just going to open up and yeah create a hole for this bald cap so basically you want to do this first because if you don't the spray or the glue that you use to melt down your cap it isn't going to stay flat if you don't have the cap secured on your head like for sure for sure so cutting out the holes basically help with that so for the spray that i'll be using today i'm using the evan wonder lace spray for sensitive skin and this is the extra firm hold um and yeah basically you want to take your spray you want to take a light you know layer of it and mist it around the front of your hairline right in front of your baby hairs you don't want to spray it too much on your hairline but you know just enough to where you can get it directly in front of your baby hair so you don't want to do too much you see how i'm like whoa tongue twister i'm spraying like a, i'm misting it like very lightly not too much i'm also using my finger to make sure it stays in place and also just smoothing it out so i don't have to go in with more product that i don't use because my finger is going to help smooth that out and so then you want to take your blow jar on a cool high setting i see i'm vibing i'll be vibing into my playlist yeah i'll be vibing but um yeah you want to blow dry this until it is all the way completely dry completely completely dry and it's going to look something like this and then take your scissors and cut directly in the middle and you can see the line of dem demarcate wait how do you say that demarcation i don't know y'all know what i'm trying to say and yeah so you know exactly where to cut off that cap and you just want to cut it off boom just like that this part is really really self-explanatory So we're getting up close and personal here i'm getting really close to my mirror so i can see exactly where i'm cutting off these extra pieces that were just not necessary and i'm using my the tip of the scissors like i say you want to be very careful don't get yourself and cutting off just extra pieces that are just not necessary because i can see where my hairline is and you'll be able to see where your hairline is too and i just don't want to take up too much space to where you know like i want my wig to sit very comfortably in where i want it to be so yeah i'm just trying to get it to be perfect now this is really unnecessary for real this is me really just you know being a perfectionist so the melting of the cap is pretty much done in the front and i'm taking the back right and i'm taking my scissors and cutting directly in the middle and then you want to tie a knot so that your braids can be safe and secure and you don't want to tie that knot super tight because that's going to hurt <laughs> okay like after a while you're going to feel that pressure on the back of your neck so i'm melting this cap down a little bit further this step is also not super necessary but i do it just because i like my cap to be super super laid down i'm taking my erica j hold me down glue a thin amount and i'm using the back of this razor and just smoothing that out a lot i mean around the cap but yeah i really do this also because i'm pretty heavy-handed and when i take my makeup brush to my bald cap to give skin the like edges of the cap can lift up a little bit so this just makes sure it's really secured in place so i have two new ruby kisses cream foundations that i'm trying out and i also tried these out in the last tutorial but i forgot to show y'all which exact shade that i was using on the left here is a level 13 and the other hand was level 14 and i went ahead and decided to use level 13 and i'm like yeah this is a good match because level 15 is which what i usually use it's just not it don't give like scalp for real for me and my preference when it comes to the lace and my bald cap so using another shade definitely is helping your girl out because what i gotta give scalp for y'all like i can't be out here with ashy lace I'm trying to teach y'all so yeah i switched over to using these shades and i really like and since we're doing the middle part i'm just keeping the makeup right in the middle it's no need to put it all over the cap
So here is the wig that we are installing today. As y'all seen in the beginning, this is a reddish brown auburn type water wave 30 inch 13 by 4 lace. And the parting space is pretty much only built for a middle part. So that's what we're doing. And the density is 200. Look how look how it looks. I only um, conditioned this here. I did not wash it, only condition it. And I also bleached and plucked this unit so y'all can see here i'm just pushing back the plucking that i did in the hairline with my hot comb before i actually put the wig on just so it can give me a more cleaner look and more um i don't know how to explain it but so i can really see like how the hairline is looking before i put it on and also what i'm doing here is kind of just lifting it up to see exactly and map out where i would want the lace to be to kind of just I don't know, like I memorize it in my brain so I can know like, okay, this is where I'm gonna put the wig at. Y'all have to show y'all how I really be vibing, but okay, now I'm gonna lift this wig back and we're gonna clean off the skin because we don't want any of this extra makeup from the lace, from the bald cap, any oils on our skin to interfere with the glue that we are going to be using to melt down this lace so yeah, i'm using my surfal alcohol in 90 percent in this little cotton round here and yeah i'm just slightly smoothing this around my head right in front of the cap and cleaning this skin off all right let's get focused let's get serious i'm using my erica j hold me down glue and i'm taking that glue right in front of my cap and as you guys can see, I'm not using a whole lot of it. I'm being really gentle with squeezing this glue out. Because if you use a lot, it's not going to dry down the way you want it to. And it's just going to be messy. So use a thin amount as advised. So once that's all around the front of my cap, I'm swinging that out with my popsicle stick. And yeah, I'm really keeping it stationed. I'm focusing on keeping it right in front of my cap. Now, if you want to make your forehead smaller, because I know that's like a thing where people like push the glue far down on their face on their skin which you know I don't mind that I just that's not my reference so I keep the glue right in front of the um what you call it the cap but you guys will see the layout here in a second but you want to blow dry that on a cool high setting until it is tacky so here is my fourth layer that I'm showing you guys I went ahead and did three other ones and i'm not showing y'all the whole entirety of the process because it is tedious and it's pretty much the same process of me applying a thin layer right in front of my cap and then smoothing that out with the popsicle stick the amount of layers that you want to do really depends on how long you want the wig to stay on now for me personally i can only go on for like three four days but that's only because i gotta switch mine out you know and also how long your wig stays on depends on your maintenance but we'll get into that another day side note y'all see here how i'm putting the glue right in front of my ear that's really going to help with giving it more of a scalp effect with your sideburns and you know you want to make sure you do that step don't skip that do not skip that so yeah we're blowing dry blow drying this again on a cool high setting until it is tacky 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 so what I like to do to make sure that it is tacky and to see where the blow drying process is at, I like to tap my finger slightly over the glue and that basically just lets me know like, okay, it's tacky. And as you guys can see, this is what you want it to look like, nice and clear. Now I am pulling this wig down and I am melting it into that glue. And I'm really like eyeing this, okay? You really wanna eye it to get it exactly where you need it to be exactly where you placed that glue okay you want the front of the hairline to be where you place that glue okay that's what that's what you need that's what you want so i'm really just placing it you know and this wasn't too much of like a like a hassle for real because this wig actually fit my head properly but yeah you just want to be gentle with this and make sure you're really placing that glue where i'm not the glue <laughs> the lace where the glue is and you guys can see from the light like where that glue is you know like you can you're going to be able to tell if you're in good lighting well i don't know if you i don't know <laughs> how it'll work if you aren't in good lighting but nevertheless you want to make sure to like press down with your hands that glue as well to really get it in there and also take a fine tooth comb in your blow dryer on a cool high setting again and further melt that lace into your skin so then you want to take your elastic 
band and i will have everything pretty much linked down below including this elastic band and you want to just tie that directly on that lace to where that hairline is to melt it and i like to melt it for 10 minutes exactly or maybe go over to like 11 12 minutes but for the most part 10 minutes and in the meantime i like to style my hair so i am parting my hair out in different sections one by one piece by piece so we can really get this wig flat and so it can look really natural and not bulky because who the fuck wants a bulky wig okay yeah so i'm using my care care wax stick and i'm just applying this you know you see the amount I'm, i don't even know how to explain what how much but you see it and i'm using my hot comb also when using your hot comb you really want to use the back of it too because that's really where that heat is okay and that's where you're going to get your flatness so yes use the teeth of it but also use that back you know use the back of it and also don't move so fast you know like take your time with the hot comb and really press that hair out okay use different strokes you know what i'm saying like you see you see what i'm doing you see what i'm doing this is what you want to do here's the vast difference between a flat wig and a bulky wig you want it to look like the left side okay so we're gonna fix that right side too but in the meantime it's 10 minutes has passed by so we're going to get into cutting off this lace so i took my scissors and i cut in between the middle of the lace and now i'm using my razor to basically just cut this lace off and i'm using the razor in like an upwards motion but then i decided you know what let me use my scissors because i actually like low-key fuck with the scissors like i'm not gonna lie to you because it really keeps the hairline looking clean and sleek and y'all can see exactly where to cut it like y'all see where you should cut it i know y'all see what i see and that's basically the guy that I use. Like, I'm just looking in the mirror. I see where I, I got to cut it. At the end of the day, though, it's all about preference, you guys. But today, I popped out with my scissors. So, as you guys can see, it's a little bit of lifting we got going on on our sideburns, which I don't know why this always happens to me. But it's cool. Like, you just want to take some glue. And y'all see my facial expression. That's because I used a little bit too much. But that's okay. I'm going to use my finger to help smooth all that glue out. Because it's not going to dry all the way using a whole lot like that in this itty bitty area so after that is blow dried i'm just gonna or no not blow dried yet after that is placed i'm going to put my lace back down where it's supposed to be and then blow dry that on a cool setting and i'm going to do the same thing on this side yeah 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 i really gotta excuse my lashes i went ahead and i gotta feel so next time you see me it won't be a problem or a distraction but please just don't pay no mind to that lash hanging like that i could not fix that but y'all see this brush you want to use a nice fluffy brush to swiftly apply your makeup on the lace to further make it look like skin and melt it you know so yeah use a brush like this and i'm also using my ruby cases cream foundation and i use both of the shades 13 and 14 so yeah i'm just smoothing that around the lace until i get it to my desired coverage and once that's done i want to take my evan wonder lace spray and i'm using a little bit dabbing that on my finger well spraying it on my finger and then dabbing it right in front of that lace a little tiny bit on our skin which that's going to happen anyway because it's spray and it's a little messy so yeah a little bit on your skin and right in front of that lace so it can get give a further melt Before we put our belt on, we want to let that marinate and sit for 30 seconds to a minute. Because if you put it on when it's still wet, it's going to give like a sticky, icky look to it. You know, like once you take off your band. So just let that sit and marinate for a second. Then put your band on. And y'all see here, basically you want to take that band and really tie it tight. It's only going to be for 10 minutes. So, you know, just brace yourself. Beauty hurts. Okay. Beauty hurts. And then you want to make a double knot, but don't let that double knot be so tight. Just, you know, do a slight double knot. Don't, don't tie it all the way. Cause it's going to be hard to take off. And then you want to stretch that 
band out a little bit around your ears to really get it nice and flat on your lace and yeah we're set for the next 10 minutes and in the meantime we're going to be um finding out this side of the hair like we did to the other side the same exact process place was 13 by 4 but um it wasn't too much space really to like make a tea part how i usually do but it still looked really cute without the tea part it's really not necessary but you do want to take your comb to make sure you have your hairs in the back parted towards the back so everything can look seamless and in sync and put together you know like you don't want it to look wonky like you want everything to be laid out so you still want to push that hair to the back even though we're not going to part it out Yeah, y'all, we're halfway through the install. If you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Like, where do my thumbs up be? All these views, no thumbs. I like, like this video because I know y'all like it. Y'all be watching. But yeah, you want to make sure to really press out the back the same way you do your front. Like, your hot comb is your best friend. That is your pal for real. But yeah, once that's all done and nice and neat, we're going to take that band off. And now we're getting into the favorite part, our baby hairs. I'm taking the comb side of my edge brush and I'm parting these hairs out. And yeah, you know, this part is really, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but y'all really see what I'm doing. Like, I'm really trying to make sure this hairline is looking clean so I can really have a visual of how these baby hairs are going to lay. That's why y'all see me pushing these hairs back and being real focused and concentrated. I knew I wanted these baby hairs to be soft though. In the last install I did, I did some dramatic, we did some drama, but today I wanted to keep it soft with this soft color. You know, I didn't want to do too much because the color is already loud. Out. you feel me and it's the middle part so and it's curly hair so i just wanted everything to look soft and pretty so yeah this is the amount of baby hairs that i like to part out i like to keep a nice space in between the sideburns and the baby hairs not too much space but like you know y'all see the space that i like to keep and yeah i'm making sure to not grab too much even though when we had these all mapped out i am going to pluck these baby hairs to make them thinner but yeah that's going to be the map out for my baby hairs on this side and i'm taking my hot comb using it in slow motion to really press out these hairs because it is curly hair and even if it was straight hair i would still press out my baby hairs and yeah that just helps it look more sleek when you actually lay them down For the left side, I'm doing the same thing. I don't know why the left side be looking better when it comes to my plucking my baby hairs. It just be looking better. I think it's because it's my left side and I'm like using, I don't know. I don't know how, what that is, but yeah, it just be looking more thinner and more laid out. But I'm really trying to compare the two to make sure they look even Steven. You don't want them to look completely different or have like a different amount of hair and like uh, not length, but like the width of how much you're going to go. So yeah, I really make sure to make sure they are well, I really make sure y'all bear with me that they are even. So yeah, when it comes to this side, I put out a lot, but I did pluck a lot too, which you guys will see. Um, but yeah, this hairline was really, um, how do I say it? It was really bulky only because it was like the parting space, not the parting space, but like the lace space, it was only like two inches. So it was bulky, but it still looked cute. Like at the end of the day, the pressing out that we did and how we laid it, like you wouldn't even be able to tell for real, but y'all can see that my plucking is more minimal than it usually is. That's because I didn't really have much to pluck, but I'm taking my wax stick and I'm smoothing um, this hairline back a little bit because I don't know, I was just feeling extra. I usually don't do this, but I was just feeling extra and I wanted it to be looking really really sleek for you guys
So after we're done with all that hot combing, I'm going to take my scissors and just cut off some of these hairs because I don't want them all up in my face <laughs> while I um, further melt this wig down well it's already messy y'all see it was already given scalp for sure but i'm using my icy pantasia foam spritz or holding spritz i really I always forget the name of this but yeah this icy pantasia spray and i'm just spraying that on top of my baby hair it's like slightly in the front of them just so they can give a more laid down vibe to them which i don't do this all the time but i do do it when i want, want my well i need to slow down when i want my baby hair slick really really sleek but now that i have my band on i'm taking my tweezers and i'm gliding those two tweezers right in the middle to widen up this part a little bit and this is what's really going to give it scalp and make it look natural you definitely don't want to go overboard with the plucking though i, I really don't recommend that because that is not fun and even though you can fix it with the colored wig it's kind of hard to fix but i'm using the comb side of my edge brush and i'm combing out these baby hairs from that spray and yeah just to soften up the hairs back how it was before but it definitely helps with making them look um flatter so now i'm taking my scissors and i'm just kind of gliding and shaving these hairs off right in front of my eyebrow now with the length of your baby hairs that you want to go that's all up to you but for me and what i like i like to keep them pretty short not too long not too short but like the perfect length so that's what i'm doing here just shaving these hairs off I'm taking my tweezers again to pluck a little bit of these hairs away because I really wanted to give it like a natural soft look to them. So yeah, I'm just taking my tweezers and just plucking them in the spaces where you can already see like a part in them. I don't know if that makes sense, but where you can already see spaces in between it, that's where you're going to want to pluck. And I'm really being heavy handed on this side because like y'all seen before, this, I put out a lot of hairs and we don't want this to look really, really bulky we want it to look natural soft pretty so i'm using my half inch um curling flat iron by kiss and i'm curling my baby hairs upwards in the front and then under for my sideburns now i like to curl them over i mean wait yeah over for the front because i don't know it gives them more like a fluffy cute vibe to them but with the sideburns curling them under it i don't know I don't know how to explain it just but if you know you know like pretty much if you know you know so i'm using my nairobi holding foam and yeah i'm swooping these baby hairs it's really all about the finger work and your product that you're using now i went back to the foam because i don't know it's just easier to use and for the soft vibe i think it was perfect to use the foam so yeah you really want to use your comb side and your finger to really give it like a swoop motion like you really want to swoop and use your finger to help mold everything into place you feel me that's what you want to do All right, we got the right side laid down now time to move on to the left side which is the left side to me <laughs> um yeah so really just repeating the same process here using your finger and your um comb side which i just like the comb side because it gives me more control and it makes everything look more uniform and put together but still soft you know and i'm using this dryer that i use for my lashes on the baby here is because this foam is really wet and i wanted them to stay in place without having to lay them down and i'm redoing this other side because i feel like it could have looked a little bit better compared to the left side because i told y'all the left side always looks better and i really like to like swoop them going towards my face like going towards my forehead you know because i already don't put the baby hairs right where that part is so it just helps it look really cute and put together when you swoop it towards like you know not just pushing it back but swooping it towards your face 
if that makes sense and i'm blow drying this side and i'm feeling it i'm like okay these were some really really cute baby hairs but yeah swooping the sideburns you just want to swoop 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 like that's really all i can say and i'm making sure that they're even on both sides because sometimes they be looking a little different i wanted these to look very identical okay so yeah just use my finger to help mold everything down and push it together and the yeah lip that do a little flick there and we're good we're in the game blow drying that too and yeah take a look take a look take a look we are laid down they're soft they're pretty they're giving what they're supposed to what give so now i'm taking this water bottle it's literally only water in here and when it came to this hair all I did was condition it. I did not actually wash this hair. I only applied conditioner, let that sit in for like five, six minutes and then rinsed it out and then we were good. And honestly, I just didn't want to put product in it because I seen my girl Janiyah on TikTok. She just used water on her water wave and I was like, oh, this looks so good. Like fuck a product. Like we don't even need that for real. So I just really dampened this hair up with water and I'm using this brush. I recommend using an actual dimmin brush or like a more of like a brush for curly hair because this brush i don't even know how to explain this brush but it's really not all that so yeah but yeah i'm really just getting this hair nice and wet and i'm dragging my brush through this hair and i'm really like lifting it too and yeah to really get that curl activated and then i'm twirling my hair too i really wish i knew her name it's like carolina or Corlana. caroline y'all know the other wig influencer on youtube here okay i used her tip when it came to really defining our curls because yeah like her should be eaten so you have to stand up for y'all because this is 30 inches as y'all can see and i'm only for 11 so that's what the length is given okay and it looks really good without any product like the curls was really really popping and you know after a day or two i did add some mousse to the hair but that was it so yeah the tip was basically like curling the hair like twisting it like twisting it you know really like twisting it and then once it dries it looks so pretty so definitely recommend y'all doing that because definitely changed the game and yeah now that that is done i'm using rd11 and this small brush it's like a concealer brush and i'm slightly putting that on my part and i'm being so focused right now i was so focused because you don't want to mess that up and smooth that out with your finger and you're good lastly to get everything looking really sleek i'm taking that same icy pentasia holding spray you want to take any holding spray that you have and your hot comb and just spray that on top to get everything in place and flat and just looking like you fresh out the salon a chair you feel me like that's that's what we do here on this channel self-sufficient this is the end of this tutorial though this is how the baby hairs is looking the finished look the finished everything it was really giving i was loving it like look at the back look at the curls y'all look at the curls i had to get on my chair y'all for y'all to get on my chair but yeah you guys make sure to check the description box for all the information on this hair and um leave a like comment subscribe i love you guys so so much and i'll see y'all in my next one